Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Kim Zolciak in Bad Place Amid Divorce Wei Heihoe alum, Kim Zolciak is apparently in a bad place amid her divorce from Croy Bierman. The mother of six has been going on with her life since the filing. Yet it has not been easy as both parties have thrown accusations at each other. Plus, there is the financial aspect of it all, as well. So what is currently going on with Kim? A close friend has spoken out on her current status. Read on for more details. From the moment that they met, Kim Zolciak and Croy Bierman were head over heels in love with one another. He ended up adopting her two daughters from previous relationships. Additionally, they went on to have four children together, as well. The couple landed their own spin-off, Don't Be Tardy on Bravo, and they lived their best lives. Sadly, in 2022, it looked like their Georgia mansion was going to go into foreclosure. They were able to save it, but it happened again this year, and then Kim filed for divorce, asking for physical and primary custody of the children. Croy then doubled down and asked for sole custody plus he wanted their home. Things just kept getting messier as she wanted him drug tested, and he asked for Kim to get a psych evaluation. Plus, he accused his estranged wife of having a gambling addiction. Now she is back with her RHOA girls, and one spoke out about how Kim Zolciak is doing. According to People, Sherry Whitfield gave some insight into Kim on WLUHL with Andy Cohen. I've been in contact with her, and she's not doing well. She's not doing well. No, she's taking it really bad, Shiri shared. She also noted that the news of the split really shocked her as it did Cohen. I thought her and Croy were gonna be forever. I'm really sad for them, noted Whitfield who did say that Kim is trying to heal. However, it is very hard when something new seems to happen daily. So what is the status of Kim Zolchak's return to Oregoe? She did take a photo with some of the cast and posted it to social media. Zolchak will be on one episode, but that is the extent of it for now. Yet she does have an over $1 million debt to pay. So she has been selling expensive items from her closet, her hair, and MLM and more. Hopefully, all of this settles down so that she can be at peace and fully heal from this situation. Kim Zolchak found herself spiraling into an abyss of emotional turmoil as her once picture-perfect life crumbled around her. The high-octane glamour that once defined her world had all but have evaporated, leaving behind a raw, harsh reality. Divorce. What had once been the foundation of her fairy tale, her marriage to Croy Bierman, had disintegrated into a toxic battlefield filled with accusations, financial strain, and endless legal wrangling. Her sprawling Atlanta mansion, once the backdrop of reality, TV fame, and family milestones, now felt more like a gilded prison. Each room was filled with memories of what used to be, laughter, love, and lavish parties. But now they felt like ghosts haunting her every step. The kids' voices echoed through the halls, but their once playful tone had shifted into tension. They could sense the change. Everyone could. Kim was no stranger to the spotlight. The cameras had followed her since her early days on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, documenting her rise to fame, her relationship with Croy, and their journey of raising a family together. But now, the spotlight was far from flattering. Tabloids splashed headlines of her impending divorce across their covers, speculating wildly about her financial troubles, her lavish spending, and the breakdown of her marriage. She had tried to put on a brave face, tried to maintain the facade that she was still the Kim Zolciak everyone knew, confident, unshakable, and fierce. But the cracks were showing. Behind the heavy layers of makeup and perfectly curated Instagram posts, the reality was much more grim. Inside, Kim was unraveling. The tension between her and Croy had been building for months, if not years. 
Their fights have become more frequent, more intense, and far more personal. What started as bickering about everyday issues, finances, parenting, and time management, had snowballed into bitter accusations and emotional wounds that seemed impossible to heal. Kim had always prided herself on being a strong woman, someone who fought for what she wanted and never backed down. But this, this was a fight she wasn't sure she could win. The financial strain was suffocating. Their lavish lifestyle, the designer clothes, luxury cars, and extravagant vacations had taken its toll. Rumors of mounting debt and looming foreclosure swirled around them like vultures circling a wounded animal. Kim had built her brand on opulence and excess, but now it seemed that same brand was crumbling under the weight of reality. Creditors were knocking on their door, and the pressure was unbearable. Kim had always been a hustler. She'd launched businesses, built a beauty empire, and used her platform to create streams of income. But in recent months, those streams had slowed to a trickle. The reality TV checks weren't as lucrative as they once were, and her beauty lines weren't flying off the shelves like they used to. The anxiety gnawed at her, keeping her up at night, as she scrolled through emails from lawyers and accountants, trying to figure out how to keep her world from falling apart. But it wasn't just the financial burden that weighed on her. The emotional toll was far greater. She had loved Croy deeply, passionately, and fiercely. Their whirlwind romance had been the stuff of reality TV gold, a love story for the ages, a bond that seemed unbreakable. And yet, here they were, on opposite sides of the battlefield, tearing each other apart in the process. Croy, once her rock and protector, had become someone she barely recognized. The man who had doted on her, who had adopted her daughters and fathered their four children together, was now a source of pain and frustration. The trust that had once been the foundation of their relationship was shattered, replaced by suspicion and resentment. They were both digging in their heels, refusing to back down, even as the divorce proceedings became more contentious by the day. The custody battle was perhaps the hardest part for Kim. Her children were her world, and the thought of losing them, even for a weekend, was unbearable. Croy was fighting for full custody, and the thought of him taking the kids away from her sent her into a tailspin. She couldn't imagine a life without her children by her side, and yet the prospect of shared custody loomed over her like a dark cloud. Publicly, Kim tried to maintain her composure, but behind closed doors, she was breaking down. Friends close to her had noticed the change. She had become more withdrawn, more anxious. The fiery, outspoken Kim they knew had been replaced by someone quieter, more uncertain. She was grappling with feelings of failure. Failure as a wife, failure as a mother, and failure as the strong, independent woman she had always prided herself on being. Despite everything, a part of Kim still clung to hope. She had always been a fighter, and she wasn't ready to give up just yet. She had built her life from the ground up once before, and she was determined to do it again. The divorce may have knocked her down, but she wasn't out of the game yet. She had plans, new business ventures, potential TV projects, and the possibility of a fresh start. But in order to move forward, she had to first get through the storm she was in. The legal battles were far from over, and the emotional scars would take time to heal. But Kim was nothing if not resilient. She had survived public scrutiny, reality TV drama, and personal heartbreak before, and she would survive this too. It wouldn't be easy, and the road ahead was uncertain. But Kim Zolchak was not one to back down from a challenge. As the divorce proceedings dragged on and the headlines continued to swirl, Kim knew one thing for sure. This was her fight to win. It might take time, it might take tears, and it might take every ounce of strength she had left, but she would come out on the other side. For her kids, for her future, and for herself. 
In the eye of the storm, Kim Zolchak stood tall, bruised but not broken. She was in a bad place, no doubt, but it wasn't her final destination. It was just another chapter in the book of her life, a chapter she was determined to rewrite on her own terms.